I was born in a small village in Yemen called Irene. That village was on mountains from all sides. 90% of the men and 100% of the women were illiterate. I had an uncle who was working in Aden, which is South Yemen at that time. It was a British protectorate. And he'll tell me about light without kerosene, about cars, moving people. And these things just mind boggling. I had to go and see them. I convinced my father to let me go travel three days and three nights on a camel's back. And then we arrived to the land of miracles, Aden. My cousin got sick, and after a month, we thought he was going to die, but he survived. And when the doctor came, told us to go home, I was looking at that doctor, and I said, I want to be that man. This guy, Mr. Clark, the American Council, enrolled me in this Catholic school for half a day, first grade. I was 12 years old. Push forward, the Clark went to the United States, asked me if I wanted to follow. Yes, I took another cargo boat, and I landed in New York, July 13, 1948. And then started high school, and then I got a full scholarship to Lafayette College. Push forward again, the king of Yemen, King Yahya heard about me and he gave me a full scholarship to medical school. He wrote a little note, Yugra lazim bimayulzam kamayulzam. Do what has to be done as it should be done. Tell us about your wife, Joni. Joni was really a beautiful woman, kind of person who always saw only the good in people. Yeah, she was a lot of my life and cancer came and stole her away from me. I heard about a comprehensive breast care center in California, Long Beach. And after she and I have been going from between Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Youngstown, and I, I said, I promise you someday we're going to have one here in Youngstown. It took 18 years, but now there it is. One of the finest in the country. The women here wanted to be in a place that didn't remind them of a hospital. They wanted to be someplace that was very healing and comforting. And on top of that, Dr. Abdu insisted that we have state-of-the-art equipment, that we have interdisciplinary conference, that we give these women every advantage, those with breast cancer, for the optimal outcome. Last year, we got a mobile unit to go to the poor areas and educate poor women about breast cancer, self-examination, importance of early detection, and then we take care of everything. Every woman, regardless of whatever it is, must have the royal treatment. What he has done for this community is incredible. Not only for the people here, but its reputation draws people to uh, the hospital. He is also a very dedicated tutor. There are some schools in the inner city of Youngstown that are not doing very well. Rashid Abdu saw value in these little children, and he has spent at least a decade that I know of every Wednesday tutoring these children, mentoring these children, making them understand that they're worth something and they can become something. Dr. Abdu is very well known at Mercy Health Youngstown. He gives of himself. He inspired people to care, to treat people, not to judge people. He is probably the definition of empathy. You know, there is a, a wise Arab who said, إِذَا مَرَّ بِي يَوْمًا وَلَمْ أَتَّخَذْ يَدًا وَلَمْ أَسْتَفِدْ عِلْمًا فَمَا ذَاكَ مِنْ عُمْرِي means, if a day passes by and I don't extend a helping hand, or learn something, that day is not part of my life. Thank you.